Hey Glam Squad, welcome back. It's Sarah and in today's video we are going to be playing around with some Morphe goodies. So about two weeks ago I got the most amazing Morphe package in the post. I am like literally just over the moon. I've been a huge Morphe fan for years now. I have a ton of their palettes and I absolutely adore them. So you can imagine my excitement when I opened up to see that I had made the Glam Fam Pure List, like literally it just made my, my week, my month, my year. <laughs> uh, so today I'm going to be playing around with some of the bits I got in that package. So the first thing was the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the volume two palette, which is just absolutely stunning. I've seen great reviews on this palette, so I cannot wait to try it. I was a little bit skeptical picking up the palette myself because even though I loved the first one I know the second launch was I think it was like hit or miss you either loved it or you hated it I saw a lot of negative reviews so I didn't bother picking it up myself but this palette seems to be doing really well and everyone seems happy with it so I cannot wait to give it a go myself also in that package was the Morphe foundation sponge. They sent down two liners. I used this one in my last video was Coconut. It's gorgeous white shade for the waterline. And then also this one which is called Sweet Tea as well, which looks like a nice kind of a, a warm brown. So that's really exciting. They also gave me a discount code for my viewers. So it's Glam Fam. 396 I'll leave it here for you and if you use a code you get a five dollars off your purchase so that is really exciting I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do today but it's a beautiful sunny day outside and I feel myself drawn to the oranges and the yellows the golds and the reds so I feel like I might do a mix of all those shades somehow I have no idea but if you want to see what I create, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off the look by using the yellow shade in the palette right here. This is going to be my transition shade. So I'm just going to be taking my trusty blending brush and I'm just going to be popping this right into the crease of the eye. Just blending it all over and then just dusting it up towards the brow bone. Then I'm taking Feeding Myself, which is the orange shade right here. I feel myself. <laughs> I can't sing. And this is going right in to the crease of the eye. So this time I'm just keeping it nice and tight right into the crease. And then I'm just dusting up. I'm not passing the yellow shade, but I'm bringing it up quite high, I suppose. I'm using a real fluffy blending brush for this and I'm holding the handle at the end so I am using as little pressure as possible. And that's mainly because I want the, it to be a little bit sheer because I don't want the orange shade to be really intense up here. So I'm just using it to kind of like wash out the colour. Now I'm going in with a smaller blending brush and I'm going to hold the barrel or the brush, the barrel of the brush right in the middle and this is going right into the crease of the eye and because I'm holding the brush right in the middle and the brush is a little bit more compact, it's th like smaller, it's not as fluffy as the first brush I use so the colour is going to go on a lot more pigmented. You can see it's really packing on the colour there compared to the first time you can see there is quite an intense difference and that is really the difference that like just that just proves how important the tools are so I'm just packing that color right deep into the crease and now I'm happy with the intensity you can see it's matching the other eye so now I'm just going to focus really on blending it out so I'm just going to swirl the brush around you can bring your hand back down to the end of the barrel and just focus on softly blending and just apply a tiny bit more on the outer corner. I didn't bother cutting the crease today, I just went straight in with no joke again. I'm using the E24 brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. So I've just packed that colour right from the inner corner to about just over the halfway mark, so just kind of where the the color of my eye stops so like right here I'm just gonna go back into feeding myself which is the orange and I'm just gonna pack this right on to the outer corner 
I'm just gonna like blend the two colors together. So now I'm gonna take the kind of, it's like a yellowy gold shimmer shade right here. And I'm going to apply it using a wet brush. So I'm gonna use the same flat shader brush and I'm just gonna soak it with the Revolution spray. And this is just going to turn it into like a beautiful foil. And the reason for the yellow really is just to create a base underneath. And I just found that by doing that, it really made the yellow in the gold really pop and just made it really intense and really shimmery and gorgeous. Started there and dragged the shimmer down because it's like kind of like a foil. So it will create almost like a fake cut crease. So it's like giving you the cut finish without actually doing the hard work. This colour is so beautiful. I must say the shimmers in this palette are so beautiful. They are like, oh my god. And same with the first palette, I just love the way the shimmers just turn into like a beautiful foil and there's like hardly any fallout and just beautiful. And the oranges blended beautifully as well, like there's no patchiness, there's no skipping so far colors are just working so beautifully. I wanted to add a pop of color on the lower lash line so I decided to pick this shade right here which is called Heart On. It's kind of like a pinky red so I can see here on camera it looks more pink than red but there is a very slight kind of a red undertone to it so I'm going to be using that today. I'm going to be using this pencil brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I'm just going to hold it right in the middle and I'm just going to Pack on the colour right here. This colour is so pigmented, so beautiful, oh my god. I wanted to add a pencil liner in the waterline just to kind of tie the whole look together. So I decided to go for Sweet Tea. I was like this close to going for the coconut shade, but I was like, no, I think this will be nice. I think it will, as you can see here, it just ties it in a little bit better it kind of looks because it's kind of like a a warm brown it kind of I feel like it blends in better with the pink so or the red whatever you want to call it I don't know <laughs> I'm not very good at describing colors clearly but I just feel like like the white would have really stood out which is beautiful but I just wanted to just do something a little bit different and I really hope I'm remembering to talk to you and not look at myself in the viewfinder it's really hard to kind of because when you look in the viewfinder it's almost like a mirror so you're like looking at yourself in the mirror but then when I go to edit my video I'm realizing that I'm like not even looking at you guys I'm looking at myself so and I know that's really annoying because I've seen other people do it in videos and I'm like look at me so I'm, I'm trying my hardest to remember to look at you guys and not myself but it's pure habit more than anything. Just gonna pop on some mascara on mostly the lower lash line, but I'm just gonna add a little bit to the top as well, just because I think it helps when you're applying your lashes, it just it helps kind of, I don't know, show up your lashes better so you know exactly where you're applying the lashes. I know if that's just me, I don't know. So I decided to go for this shade right here. I know it looks just like a white, like I would have, normally went for this kind of shade if it had a bit of a shimmer in it but it's actually just I don't know it's not really anything it's just like a white not even a white just like a nude <laughs> so I decided to go for this shade right here which again looks like the same color but it's actually got like a pink undertone to it so this color is going right under the brow bone here then I'm just going to grab my finger and just kind of blend it out, like so. I decided to go for the same lashes I used in my last video, the Laura Chanted ones. I just find they are brilliant, really. Uh, they apply nicely, they're nice and fluttery, but not too much. So they're like my go-to lashes at the minute. So I'm just going to pop these on and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. I am really, really happy with it and how it came out. And I only used about three shades in the palette, so I can't really give a review, so I'll base this on my first impressions. When you look at the palette again, it's that beautiful kind of white packaging, that classy uh, Jaclyn Hill signature look, absolutely stunning. The colours 
look absolutely stunning in the pan they look beautiful online and they look just as beautiful in real life just as vibrant and i got so excited when i opened it up it's just so aesthetically pleasing the mattes that I used came out beautifully, so pigmented, I really didn't need to go back and apply much more colour, they just came out beautiful, there was no skipping, there was no patchiness. Then the goldy, yellowy gold shimmer that I used was just so beautiful, I applied it wet and it came out like a beautiful foil, only needed to apply it once, it's just, it's absolutely stunning, there's no denying that, there was no fallout on my face, I didn't have to like clean up before I apply my foundation. I actually applied my foundation and then did my second eye on camera for you guys. And there was absolutely no fallout, which I very rarely do. And I did go in with high expectations based on my first Jaclyn Hill palette. And I must say they did live up to my standards pretty much of Morphe and my first Jaclyn Hill palette. So overall, I'm impressed. I cannot wait to try it out more and kind of get more of a feel for it and give you like a proper review. And I will definitely be doing more looks with this palette. I might as well do as much as I can because it's such a beautiful palette and I am locked indoors. I have nothing else to do but film. So expect more looks with this palette. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with how the look came out. So yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I hope I get to see you in my next video.